Well, we all be quiet. Hi there, welcome back. I'm here with Robin's puppies. They're seven weeks old and we just pulled out the snuffle mat for the very first time. Wow. The snuffle mat, if you have never seen it before, it's this little thing that has, kind of mimics um, the foliage so that they can kind of dig and hunt and forage. And it really helps satisfy their desire, their, that instinct to rummage through the yard, dig through dirt, as you can see Chance digging for food. And then there's a drawstring on this particular one right here. And so you can tighten it as they get better at it and their noses get longer and you can tighten it to make it more difficult. but they almost, the puppies almost always love this thing. It's always a hit with them. And so this is the first time these guys have seen it and so far so good. But they're seven weeks old. They start going home on Thursday. Um, and so we have a busy week ahead. They're gonna get their first round of vaccinations. Um, they're gonna get, uh, they're gonna be microchipped. They'll, uh, uh, what else? They're gonna be seen by the vet. Um, they'll have their last deworming dose. We've got a lot to do. We've got a lot going on. Hey, Drew. Can you go in and see if it's I want to find a freaking and a Puppies going poop and potty. Good go potty. Good go poop. Good puppies. Good boy, Jesse. And they're Cavalier and Charles Spaniels. I'm sorry, I forgot to say that at the very beginning of the video. <clears throat> they turn eight weeks old on Thursday, and so um, we're often asked like how long we keep them for, how early can we let them go, um, and so there's uh, several answers to that question. Um, depending on what it is you're wanting to know. The legal answer is eight weeks. They can go home in eight weeks. Um, the developmental answer is, it's really it depends on the puppy. We've seen puppies that um, at like six weeks old, especially in Missy's letters. I think it's mostly in Missy's letters. Missy really early on starts kind of pushing them away. So I think they kind of grow up a little faster. But we've seen them at like six and a half weeks old, um, like just be more than ready to go and live with their family happily ever after. Um, and then we have puppies that, um, you know, at eight weeks, like maybe it would have been good to have them for another few days, but, you know, it's okay for them to go. We've never had puppies that at eight weeks we felt needed to stay. And so, um, you know, there's some breeders that will keep them till 10 weeks or 12 weeks. I think a lot of times that's for, um, like they want to complete the series of vaccinations. So like we have um, our first, first vaccination we give, it's a first part in a two part series. And so if we can, um, we'll give both doses and we'll time them so that we can give them because you need to have like so many days in between. It's like between two and four weeks in between doses. And so we'll try to um, either give it as close to eight weeks as possible so that then um, they have some time to get to their vet to get the other dose, or we'll give it, you can give it as early as six weeks, but I don't like to really give it the moment we are allowed to give it. I'd really like to let their little brains mature a little more. Um, and so um, I prefer to give it closer to eight weeks, but I can understand the breeders that um, keep them till 10 weeks. They want to complete those series of vaccinations and there's another deworming dose at 10 weeks. And so it's just nice to know that 
the puppy got those things in. And, um, but of course, obviously our families are very eager to see their babies. And so um, we try to be, we try to be as accommodating as we can without compromising the puppy's well-being. Just a second. You, the burrito blanket, right? The Bella burrito? Okay. Oh, <laughs> 
Bella, it's okay. It's not like a balloon where it's gonna like pop all the way. Yeah, it's we can just put the tape over it and it's fine. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesse, take it easy. Where's the hole? Focus. I can't do the math of how far I know that is. It's eight and a half something. I just can't. I don't have eight and a half. I don't think so. See why? This is negative, it's going down. That's why I can look backwards, not going from 51 to 28 or 28 to 1. And as soon as I would like figure it out, then I would have like some mental. Right, yeah, something to question it. Yes, yeah. this is. That's why I was over here like. Yeah, it's like 8 minutes and change, and then we have. Oh, yeah, well, so we got that way. Yeah. That way. So, yeah, you gotta think of this one as 13928. And then we'll get to 13930 and it's counting down. No, so, I don't think. Yeah, so it's because 28 plus. Nine seconds, so thirty-seven seconds. Yeah, 
it may seem for sure. So what was she mean? Prancy Chance, I love that name, Heather, Prancy Chance. Oh, look, see how nice is that? You can still see them over here. And so instead of me trying to explain what they're doing and how cute they are. In fact, let me get some pictures while I still can. Sorry if I get in the way, I'm just trying to actually get all these clips later.
Yep, that's just for her families. And I don't know, I don't know. I can also make thumbnails for other live streams. But I usually I send bulk. I send all the pictures that I take for families. It was silly because um, like a couple of years ago before we became so centered around families, um, I could never stop taking pictures of them because they were always being so cute. And so I just found myself always taking videos and pictures. And that was kind of when I realized the important component of having the families involved because I was taking all these videos and pictures and Drew and I kind of looked at each other like, you know, what good does this do us? Because it's not our puppy. And the families would probably really much prefer to have these videos and pictures than we would because we're not gonna come back and watch them, you know, short of needing it for something. Um, and so that's when we started doing like the visits and um families were always so appreciative for just like you know a 12 second clip of their puppy snoring and people would get like all of these hearts and emojis and all of the all these thank yous and so um i kind of realized like how like what a simple a small simple thing can mean so much to somebody which i understand because we're sometimes on the buying end of the puppies and I'm always so excited and I really wish the breeders would send us more. We're not, we're not getting a puppy right now, but just in general. So, um, Aw, yeah, John, that's like, that's exactly it. That's why we, because there's so much that they go through. There's so many, um, like, exciting things that they they do when their eyes open. Oh, gosh, I take pictures every time and then send it to their families because it's like, I mean, if I think it's amazing, I can only imagine what it's like for the families that are, like, just waiting and waiting for all those little things. And so we figure if we were excited by it that much, then their families were probably way more. And so that's why we like leave these little collars we send home. Uh, kind of we liken it to like baby bracelets at the hospital, so that families can keep them for posterity. And I'm with you, John. I'm, I'm the same way about our dogs. I wish we had like more video or something. Cause it does, it feels like you missed out on like their infancy. Cause that's kind of what it's like these first eight weeks. The first four weeks is like their infancy. And then the second four weeks, the four to eight weeks is almost like toddlerhood. Or maybe not toddlerhood, but like later infancy, like six to 12 months old for humans.
Thank you. 